Ava, the brand new Jessica Zassane action movie where she plays a spy and you kind of think, watching that trailer, when I saw the trailer I thought, Jessica Zassane, who you think is male or female, the best actor working in Hollywood right now, if you is playing a spy, it's an action movie, you kind of think it's going to like make you feel this is going to be the greatest film of all time, this is going to be the greatest spy movie of all time kind of stuff, right? I watched, I watched the trailer, I was like, no, it doesn't, but I'll watch the film anyway, and I did, and it sucks, and it's not sucks what I thought it was, I thought it just was going to be this, like, twist and turny, so twist and turns, it's going to make your head hurt, and be like, how does X and Y make sense, but what this movie is, and what this movie's trying to do, is trying to explore alcoholism, in the most bad way possible, and also diving into a spy genre that you make that makes you go, oh, right, oh yeah, the spy thing, because it feels like it's directing. It's kind of it's kind of forgetting that it's meant to be a spy film, also because what this most of this film is is about Ava played played by Sustain, who's back at home. Dealing with her family um, and her reactions to her going being alcoholic and her being sober for X amount of years and battling, you know, looking at the mini bar and be like, do I do do I grab this? Just a small bottle of like gin or alcohol, whatever. Get the mini bar or something, you know. And you're hinting, okay, that's neat. That's neat. I mean, there's a good scene where they're saying just. It's at an AA meeting and she's talking about probably the reason why she became an alcoholic and that kind of thing. Now, that, that seems good. But the rest of the, those things, I mean, the stuff between her and her sister just felt so dramatic. It, no, it's not dramatic battling with over dramatic. Because you've got Tessa who is not being dramatic, but the sister's kind of is being over dramatic. Like, acting-wise, performance-wise, and you're like... This just feels unbelievable just by the performance and the dialogue. There's a scene at a table at a West one that you're like, this just feels too cartoony. You know, it feels a bit like did did the director Iris made this? And is the answer is no, it's the guy who did the help, but he also did that movie Girl on the Train. So this kind of helps to explain things a lot. But it, it kind of it just it doesn't mush well, it doesn't jive well. To the point you're like, uh, this is just bad and how they're handling it. But then the spy thing comes along. It forgets what it is. You know? And the action is shit, by the way. I mean, yes, this movie's cheap. This movie's cheap. Not every movie has the budget of a James Bond movie or Mr. Possible or, you know, John Wick or whatever, whatever, whatever. But... <sighs> Is cliche uh, someone who doesn't know how to shoot action so much close up and shaky cam is trying to be cool by pulling doing the close up pull up with the camera. It you're like this is gonna be some good fight choreography if I was able to fucking see it. But the stuff doing with Colin Farrell, who's in it, the stuff with John Malkovich, he you kind of just like forget that they're there. To the point you're like, oh, right, well, like the spy thing. You know? And the the whole thing of, like, oh, she's getting hunted down by the agency that hired her because a mission went south. And their big problem is also that she talks to, to the targets. Which, in my head, I'm thinking, they're targets. That, like, like, they're going to remember who they... Anyway, remember who killed them anyway. Because they're dead. Anyway, but that's your head thinking, well, okay, time to focus it. Even to the final action scene, you're like, you know, this ma a magic perfect happened. And it's like, oh yeah, um, she d does the whole thing, I'm going to kill you at the end thing. Um, I'm. J uh, yeah, nah, well, we won't do that. We'll just have, have her kind of. More talking, talking with the you know, only acting from the sister. I, I mean, the main actors, the ones that you know, are good, are good. It's just the script that I given. It is 
probably the second worst film I have seen this year. The the other one is uh, if you want to know what's done one, it's that Netflix film called uh, the, the Last Days of American Crime. Ooh, that's horrible. But um, but yeah, I just this movie is just bad. This is just a bad film, and it uh, sucks seeing all these actors and definitely one that you think is the you know the greatest actor working in Hollywood today. It's